everybody. Will here, Tom Cruise Studios, Live Music in Austin, bringing to you episode number three of Three Beers and a Whiskey. This episode tonight features Andy McIntyre. Here's beer number one. All right, how are y'all doing this evening? William here, Tom Cruise Studios, Live Music in Austin, coming to you with another episode of Three Beers and a Whiskey. And tonight, I have with me a very special guest, Andy McIntyre, the guitar god. Ooh, that's probably crazy. I've no um, idea with that. So, so yeah, so uh, you know, sit back, grab some beers, and enjoy uh, our conversation about whatever the hell comes up. So, um, my first question to you, though, thank you. Well, first of all, thank you very much for joining. I appreciate you uh, making the drive out here to sit down and chat and have some beer and whiskey. And um, so, question I'll, I'll start out with is yes. when you're out at a show. Mm -hmm. One of your shows, you're performing, do you have a preference between drinking beer or having a whiskey? There's something about having a little bit of whiskey either right before I go on or halfway through the night as I'm, as I'm playing because then I'm just a little more in, kind of in my zone. Okay, so you kind of do the, and are you drinking the whole time you're on stage when you're performing no. or it's just, okay, so you just have something a little bit before yeah. and then? Typ typically I'm... I try, I try not to drink through the first sort of half of the set. Mm -hmm. um, if it's a short set, a 45 minute set or whatever, then yeah, I'll slam something real quick just to sort of roll out the end. Yeah. And yeah. Just, just get on stage and do it. Cool. Very cool. Uh, What's coming up for you that everybody can kind of go check out Andy McIntyre? Actually, I'm flying overseas. Mm -mm. Yeah. For, for, as Andy McIntyre for music or? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Congratulations, where are you going? What are you doing? We're going to uh, London and uh, we're, we're still waiting to just sort of firm everything up but, and just sort of cross the T's. How long are you going to be going overseas? Two weeks. Do you try to hammer out as much as you possibly can in two weeks? Yes and no. I, I, I recently read that you shouldn't try and like sort of do everything all at once mm -hmm. in every single day, or especially if it's two weeks or else you, you're, you're going to end up just burning out and like, well, screw this. This suck, you know. Have you been overseas before to perform? No, this is my first. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. And I've seen, you know, it seems like, for me as a fan of the Austin music scene, and, and you, got, you guys, you, Andy McIntyre, and lots of the other performers here in Austin, the one thing that I've seen a lot of is there's a lot of people from Austin that are making the trips to go overseas to London and to France to perform. Uh, absolute worst. Yeah, like handshaking. Oh, oh yeah. Barely eating the uh, you know the eggs and the bacon <sighs> at uh, mothers or her mamas or whatever it's called. <laughs> you know, a lot are on a block. It's ninety five degrees out. And, just and yeah, and hundred percent humidity. Yeah. So that so is New Orleans. Yeah. Oh, and and no one ever tells you that. By the way, if you order a hurricane, don't give up halfway through. Hi. <laughs> and throw it out and immediately assume it's okay to go and get a shot from, you know, a, a real drink from another bar because that hurricane is going to hit you in about five minutes with that shot. Yep. And you end up screaming uh, war pigs at the top of your lungs. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who is this guy from Texas? Why is he? Oh, he had a hurricane and yeah. had a shot. Oh, I sucked down half. I was like, this sucks. Threw it out. Too sweet. Sugar too, too sweet. Is no, Candy drink. Don't remember the end of the night except for screaming war pigs. <laughs> <laughs> when, when are you leaving to go to London? That's going to be in November. Oh, November. Okay. Hoist a pint over there in London. Oh, or s several. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I, I keep looking at the camera just because I feel like it's more. I know. we got to like, I mean, we're talking to each other. And then, yeah, that side eye, look at the camera. Like, I might as well just turn the head and be like, hey, thank you for joining us. Um, <laughs> Watch. Oh, we got people watching. Hey, who's hey, watching? Who's watching? Excellent. His wife is watching. Oh, Sonny! Hey, what's going on, Sonny? He's uh, the guitar player for Sim Ross. They were oh. just here last week. Um, so, yes, sir. Here we go. My wife? Yes, she's watching. Lisa, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can have some She's about to respond in 12 seconds. <laughs> yeah. So, um, now another... Uh, and this was like it was super exciting for me when you said, "Yeah, I'll come on, I'll sit down with you, I have three beers and whiskey." But what was even more exciting was knowing that you're going to be here, and I get to ask you about the video that you put out off of the new album. Oh, okay, Juice, yeah. 
Okay, so y'all, don't do it now. We're live. Don't go on and go find the video now. But when we're done, go to Andy's page. Y'all, go to check out the song. Not right now. We're getting through it. Yeah, come on. We need y'all here with us. Um, so I can plug it in on the comments. Where can we find that? Well, on your page? Yeah, the uh, the Andy McIntyre artist page um, or YouTube. So you look up Andy McIntyre on YouTube, um, Juice, or what's your artist page? Is Andy McIntyre dot? It's just just Andy McIntyre. There you or go. McIntyre. You can type in either or. Yeah. Uh, or, or you can go to McIntyreRocks.com. Love it. Love it. What? What was that again? What is it? McIntyre Rocks. McIntyre. R O C K S. There you go. <laughs> um, but so who? How the? How the? It was a badass video. The right. video is so Keller Davis and and his small but very able team. That was absolutely Escape Plan Productions. There you go. Plug and plug it. There Much respect to you guys, because that video is, it, I saw it, and I ended up watching it probably three or four times, just watching it over and over again, because, you know, I, I saw, I, I got, I guess, the, the social jab at it, and I was like, wow, so who, did they come up with the concept on it, or did you, or, I mean, how did that come out, say, you know, so here's your song, we're going to do this video, and this is how, what we're going to do in the video with everybody and their cell phones. Right. Um, well, I mean, it was definitely a collaborative thing back and forth, like, hey, we're thinking this, how does it sound, sound to you guys? I'm like, yeah, all right, cool. And it was, it, was, it was a couple different ideas, but I think it was primarily, half of it was absolutely Keller. Okay. And then we just kind of put in our own sort of like, well, what if you did this and did that? And that was it, you know? I mean, it, I mean there's a reason why I hired them, was because it was very real. So where where did the video get filmed at? Where was it? I mean, all around town here in Austin? What what pool, Actually, what bar was used? Yeah, well, I, I, yeah, it, yeah, it was funny. It was, it was the, the bridge that leads to the turnoff to 71, and it's underneath there. Yeah, so I was like, yeah. I just couldn't figure out. I was like, that yeah. looks like a million different over. I was like, oh, that's over here. But, but it had like this particular freakiness to it where you're like, you can't quite place it. You're like, where is that? You know? Yeah, and and the, some homeless person just happened to leave their chair just there, and you're like, yeah. Oh, no, that, none of that was a prop. That was all. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm cracking the yeah. joke about it. You're like, nope, that nope. was actually there. In fact, in fact this, this dude came up and uh, intervened. In the middle of the shoot, and it was just like this <laughs> nice guy. It was like a little white boy kind of dude, like, like <laughs> white boy Rick. <laughs> you know, yeah, kind of white boy Rick, and like you know the the uh, big red Cincinnati Reds hat on backward, and like a big long ass uh, white shirt, and a huge baggy jeans or really tight jeans. It's twenty eighteen, no one can bag as, as much as they used to. Right, like, you know, corn. <laughs> <laughs> With the chains. Yeah. Um, so he, was, but he, he comes up and goes, right in the middle while I'm miming something, hey man, hey, I was wondering if I could talk to you. <laughs> so the photographer is like going, yeah. he's like, I'm not having anybody else so, all like, did nobody get this no, guy? It's not a shooting a music video, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. That, you know, that, you can see and the outtakes from that. Oh, oh he, he went around and did each individual person and was like giving him you know, the information. And what's funny is when you go on Instagram, the dude's got like a million followers, but but it's you know, uh -huh. it's not it's not organic, <laughs> and, and he's some kind of handler for this hip hop artist, this localized hip hop artist who's pretty good. It isn't bad. But what's funny is you see him in like random shots throughout the hip hop artist music video. And it's in shots where, like, you know, the camera's kind of panning around. This dude's getting a lot of air down here, but, it, but it's so funny. <laughs> we could, none of us could actually buy it. We're like, this is real. This is the same son of a bitch that interrupted the whole shoot. And the camera pans like this, and just pans him, and he's all like, <laughs> every shot he's doing this, you know? Who is this guy? No, he's just a dude. It's just so That's, <laughs> that is freaking. Okay, and you're like, all right, can we get on with our shoot now? The hey, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so how's that? How's the video doing? Hey, good. good. Um, hopefully better now that we're talking to shit about it. 
Right. Oh no. Yeah. No, it's. Um, it's good. I mean, it's uh, yeah. really cool. I have uh, views on, on Facebook. Nice. Which is great. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And um, a couple hundred on YouTube. But apples and oranges, though, man. The YouTube game is different from the Facebook game. Uh, In fact, there, there was a rumor a couple months ago saying that Facebook is going to have a Facebook Music. Yeah. Sort of subsidiary kind of mm -hmm. co-app. Yep. But which which would be great because then it could function more like YouTube in the same way I'm in California. YouTube, not YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 but it would be a huge it'd be a huge help because it would help sort of fold it back to what it was initially intended for. Yeah. Or as it turns out, not intended for at all. Oh uh, well, the data mining. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the data, yeah well, it was more like a, just a. A mining app for hot chicks at the school. Well, yeah, there's that too. Um, Cyberbullying. So yeah. Um, <sighs> alcohol. Damn. I like. Oh, I have a question right there for you too. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Cheers, sir. Cheers, whiskey. Yeah. And that is this some damn. Thing. Very good. And he brought over his own special whiskey, and uh, this is some good of, shit. The number one. Um, okay, so I, I do want to go down this path um, uh, and really at least, you know, give some respect and love. Don L. Robinson, MC Overlord, so uh, rest in peace, Don. Um, did you ever, I, so I know from this show right here, you, he was, he was in the house, he did perform, you, you know. You're right, he was, wasn't he? He was in the house. Oh, I've got a photo where actually after, so, they, uh, was it Lisa Tingle that played first? Yeah, that, Lisa, was, that was, and then, yeah, it was Lisa, and then Van, and then you, yeah, yeah. and then after that, there was a midnight show, which actually happened to be Cody Bryan band, and Don L just creeped in somewhere in the middle of that and was hanging out, and, um, and so, Billy Perkins did the poster, yes. I remember that, um, hey. Billy! Love you, man. I got your shit all over my wall. Well, not your shit, but His I got stuff. your posters all over the walls. Um, so I got your shit on the wall. <laughs> um, so yeah, did you ever get a chance to play? Did, did Donnell ever bum rush your stage when you were playing? I know it's a totally different type of music. Um, years ago, I was I was in this band called Dork Star, and. Do you remember that? Yes. Yeah. And I was Dude, I, I've been I've been you know, humping and busting the fucking awesome music scene since eighty six. So. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> humping, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it just came out. No, it has <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Did somebody ever say that? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. uh, should have. <laughs> should have. So so Thor <laughs> Star. Dorkstar, yeah. So from like 03 to 08, still in there? Yeah. I, I played a, primarily with Dorkstar, maybe it was more like 04, but um, we used to go down to the Lucky Lounge and, and see him yeah. all the time. Tuesday nights at Lucky Lounge. Tuesday Always night. Tuesday yeah. nights, weekly at the Lucky and, Lounge. Yeah, totally loaded. But it was a hell of a show. It was, it was, it was awesome. Or it was, sorry, it was a hell of a show. Hella. Hella show. Hella. I ain't no hella back, girl. <laughs> but that girl got a hella back. <laughs> got a hella bank account, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so, um, <laughs> so did you get the opportunity to play with him, or like... There, there, was, there, was, there was one time where, as, as, as you put it, he bum-rushed a, a Dork Star show. I think it was at Friends, that these be babes, for, for those of you out there that were not babes. Um, and he just got up and just started like jamming over some stuff that mm -hmm. we were doing. And he might have done it once or twice, but I don't Two bong hits, three shots of Jaeger, cheeseburger, three tequilas, two be you know, he'd start stacking and yeah. mixing, he'd be like, oh, this at the, at the end of the night, and like yeah. walking in a bar and playing, you know, wirelessly and, and playing like the national anthem. <laughs> and there's, you know, in of course, you know, you'd be like over one of the well known Provost bars. And, and, and oh. Wes or, 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 or Chad or someone would walk over and just kind of do this, like sort of guiding you as you're walking along a bar because because I'm, I'm tipsy. Mm. And looking back now, I'm like, boy, that was really stupid of me.
Will Tompkins, from me and everybody here at Three Beers and a Whiskey, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, make sure if you uh, like what you saw, you hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like what you saw, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe and also click on the notification bell so that you won't miss future videos from Three Beers and a Whiskey. Thank you all very much.